the studio today with us, we have local film producer, Connie Lamoth. Woo! <laughs> hey! How are you? Good, how are you, Connie? <laughs> so, Connie, how are you doing today? I'm doing good. Good. Thank you. I'm so happy to be here. Well, it's great Thank to have you, you on the show. Us. Very nice. All right, now today we want to talk about a few of the films that you're doing. One that you've had, uh, completed is called Rosie's Miracle. Could you mm -hmm. tell us a little bit about that? Sure. Um, Rosie's Miracle was written by Michael Brennan. It is a um, kind of an urban legend. And um, actually, it's a great story that I think a lot of people could relate to right now because it's about a hardworking family. Uh, middle-class family, uh, struggling to make ends meet, that type of thing. And um, one of the members of the family is stricken with an illness, and um, it's about the family's struggle to get through that. And uh, one little girl, uh, Rosie, who's the youngest member of that family, who uh, finds a miracle. What are we going to do? I don't know, Kayla. The doctor said it to take an operation and chemotherapy. And that costs money. Lots of money. Money we just don't have. He's your son, Louis. Can't you find the money to take care of your own son? What can I do, Kayla? It costs thousands of dollars for therapy. We just don't have it. This is your fault. My fault? How is this my fault? You took a job without health benefits. Why couldn't you get a job that had insurance? You act like this was my choice. I work hard with my hands to put a roof over our head and food on our table. What more do you want from me? Your son is dying, Louis. He's dying! I know, Kayla. It's gonna kill me, too. Look, we have to try to be positive. After all, there are other options. Like what? Herbal remedies and alternative cures. I checked the internet at the library. I want my son to be seen by a doctor. Someone who went to medical school. Please, Kayla. I need you. We need each other. It's going to take a miracle to save our son. And I can't do this without you. Please. So you have some special news about the festival. Can you tell us about that? I did submit the film to the New York Independent International Film Festival and got a call oh. and submitted my film. Oh. And the film has been accepted, so yes. I'm really excited. Good. Good. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thanks. That is so nice. <laughs> yeah. So did you have any special preparation that you had to do in order to get ready for the festival? Well, um, yeah, and you know, being kind of a first timer, I have lots to learn, that's for mm -hmm. sure. Um, but, uh, and I'm, I have to add in that Carlos has been wonderful help to me. Oh, great. <laughs> he, he's a Whenever I have a problem, I pick up the phone, Carlos! Oh. <laughs> so he since he was man. there last year, he knows everything to do. There you go, he's the that's answer right. man, that's, that's good. Right. Now, there are two different versions of the festival you have in L.A. and New York. Which one is, is Rosie's Miracle going to be in? New York. In New York, yeah. okay. Yeah, I think a little um, closer to home right now is, you know, just sounds good to me. I don't, I don't know if I'm ready to uh, race off to L.A. LA just right. yet. Okay. And this is a short film, yeah. So we'll right. see. We'll see what happens in New York. We'll take it one step at a time. And, okay. And, be conservative. Mm -hmm. Very so. good. Yeah. All right. Good luck with that. That is so you. great. So you're working on some other special projects. So one of them is the driver. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Well, the driver is actually what I really started with first. Oh. And the driver has been on my plate now for, I'm almost embarrassed to say, about three or four years. Well. And um, what happened was I, uh, became privy to a uh, to some information and um, I thought you know that's a great story mm -hmm. it really needs to be written oh. and uh, so anyway uh, I sat down and I started kind of toying with the idea of writing a screenplay which I've never done right. and um, I don't know I guess the creative juices just really got flowing mm -hmm. and I uh, finished a, uh, a complete screenplay now I'd like to ask you a question in reference to Dark Secret. 
And is he allowed to ask me a question? Uh, yeah. <laughs> We've been, I told you we've been working on things for him, so that's one of them. So see, there you go. See, I get picked right, on. Now you can't complain anymore. The only man on my side in this whole room is the sound guy. He's the only one on my side. I'm sorry, please. Go right ahead. You can tell me about it. I wasn't. So tell me, I mean, still in production, gradually, I mean, fill me in. What's going on? All right. Well, the, my current project, Dark Secret, is still in production, although, um, you know, I've been running into a little bit of uh, problems lately. As we all do. Yes, mm -hmm. and um, again, you know, just another learning uh, experience for me to chalk up to my little uh, my clipboard of daily lessons to be learned <laughs> by Connie Lois. <laughs> now she's going to write a book, okay. Right. right. Um, yeah, actually, you know, that's not a bad idea. I should. <laughs> um, but... Uh, a few little actor issues, um, you know, nothing Actors, major. Actors, I tell you. Yes, 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 yes. A few of those. So, um, but it's you know it's coming along. It's great, and it's Good. an excellent um, story with a wonderful twist at the end. So, based on those woes, can you tell me what advice would you give young producers that are trying to get started? Because I know the biggest thing that I've learned from being in this industry is getting individuals to share the same vision that you have because you'll start off in one area and then they'll go off into another area and it'll just slow things down. So what type of advice would you give producers right now? Well, do we have a couple of hours? We can take all of it. <laughs> we really can. Okay. Um, first of all, I would just say that, um, you know, when you're preparing for a project, obviously you want to assemble a really super team of people that you know, without doubt, you know that are a hundred percent committed to what you're doing mm -hmm. but um, you know if people are committed and your crew is committed then you know then that's a great place to start right. so that'd be one thing I would say I learned a little um, you know a couple lessons um, on this film um, and one of those things would be make sure that um, you know when you're interviewing your actors um, during, before, or after your audition, that you really get, you know, um, all the information that you need from them with regards to their part, what that involves, the kind of commitment it takes, um, you know, and specifically what they're doing. It could be that you have them in a role where there's, um, <clears throat> excuse me, a lot of, um, uh, say, uh, there's romance, and you need to make sure that there's no um, issues with, you um, very jealous uh, boyfriend or girlfriend, husband or uh -huh. wife, right. kind of thing. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. Yes, this and even if the actor is comfortable with it themselves, I very guess, true because yeah. some people have never done an on-screen kid. You know, you talked about people trying to take your take your vision. Well, right. obviously, when you're working with a group of people, everybody has great ideas. Mm -hmm. And I think it's good to be open as a producer or director. It's good to be open to listen. But, you know, you have to stick true to what it is that you mm -hmm. set out to do, right. you exactly. know, in the beginning. Right. Anyway, those are just some of the things. Um, well, that's more than enough. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately for Connie, right? Right, yeah. but that's okay because uh, you persevered. You're still pressing forward. Oh, it's all good. It's all good. Yeah. I'm a happy camper. I'm I'm not complaining. Exactly. I'm, You're going to a film festival. That's right. You know, that's fabulous news right there. So congratulations again Thank on that. Thank you. I'm uh, so excited. Hey, and you know, speaking of that, Rosie's Miracle is also in the Frederick Film Festival, oh. which comes up on March 28th, oh, and great. it's going to be playing there at that beautiful uh, Weinberg Arts Center, I think oh, is what yeah, it's called, right. Frederick. So you're going to be two festivals, very Yeah, good. well that's nice. the fourth weekend of March, and then Rosie's Miracle is the, or excuse me, the New York Festival's mm -hmm. third weekend, so wow. I'm thinking, gee, what else can I do? You're going to be sending all <laughs> the uh, paparazzi and stuff. Reflect, learn, live, and continue to press forward. Thank you. Okay. Thank, you thank you so much. Thank you for being on the show. I appreciate it. Thank you very Thanks much. Bye.